Hi guys, you join us as we're planning our next trip, end of March and over Easter, around some of the oldest and most historic towns and cities in the UK. We're going to the ancient Saxon capital of Winchester, the Viking stronghold of York, via the medieval town of uh, Tewkesbury, and back via the Roman town of Cirencester. So, yeah, we're playing it safe this time. All the sites are Caravan and Motorhome Club, but it will still be a good test for our van with such a distance in the UK. We haven't lost our sense of adventure. So, before I take you back to Spain, you may wonder why our logo is not actually our Cartago. It's a Contiki 675, which was in fact our first van. And that was before we even thought of this channel. So, um, but it was there so we could use it before we got our Cartago. In fact, I wrote a book about it. Here it is. The first 12 months of motorhoming. It's a, a sort of light-hearted look as new motorhomers at the first 12 months, which ended perhaps a bit prematurely with the Brexit and, more importantly, the pandemic. Um, but there may be a few tips for those who are new to this. Um, and a few laughs for those seasoned motorhomers who wonder what the hell I was on about. But we don't mind you laughing at our expense. So do have a look. It's on Amazon. Just search under Shayla Mason or the title and uh, it's there for you. So now, after that plug, back to where we were. So we left off in Benidorm, actually Almafra. And... Um, this video takes you to a place of surprises, which is Benidorm. It wasn't really what we expected it to be at all. And we will be back later on in our trip, actually, because, well, really, it was the weather, because it has quite a unique microclimate. But for now, Almafra, that's where we'll start. It's a little way out of Benidorm, apparently half an hour by push bike, but we never risked the push bike. Um, no, we didn't try it. The traffic in Benidorm is quite something. The cycle lanes are down the middle of the road, um, so you've got traffic passing you in both directions. Then there are these electric scooters everywhere, which are probably more of a danger to pedestrians than anything else. And not to mention the mobility scooters. You can see from this shot over the site across to the bay just how the site's positioned. You, you can also see Alan playing with two of his toys, the KTM and the drone. The site itself is absolutely spotless, very well maintained. It's got excellent facilities and friendly staff. They were always happy to call you a taxi, which incidentally was about 10 euros into Benidorm. That was including a tip and definitely much safer than the push bike or even a motorbike for that case. Although the local supermarket was close by and the KTM proved invaluable to top up supplies and was also really just fun riding in the sun.
most popular attractions in Benidorm are the white doves. See how I got on, armed with the two euro bag of nuts. Just poke a hole in it. You put your finger. <laughs> put your finger out. You say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I like to get in bed. 
Player de Malpass, that's below us. And we're looking over to player Poyanente. I'm sure I've got that wrong. And we continue to soak up the atmosphere. Nice squares with public art and fountains. And yet another dove. The sun was dropping, and many were sat outside of bars, or just like us, wandering around, taking it all in. Up by the castle, we gazed over Levante Beach, where the skyscrapers of Benidorm line the seafront and the beautiful beach. I'll have a read what it says. Benidorm Castle. The small bits that can be seen were uncovered in the archaeological excavation which took place as recently as 2019. These are apparently part of the fortifications which date back from the 19th century. We move from the castle into the town. Everywhere has a friendly, vibrant, relaxed atmosphere oh, no. with plenty of shops and bars. But if you want to keep your drink intact, perhaps avoid these tables. Not comfortable, is it? And all the bins. We then found irrefutable proof that old bikers never die. They just go to Benidorm and get different wheels. It's 
New Year's Eve tomorrow, we head back to the van as the sun sets. We've ended this video with a picture of a rather startled looking me. Tomorrow we'd see you in the new year in Benidorm. And so would we. So join us next time to see the festivities and do a bit more exploring of Benidorm before we move on further south. Don't forget to like, if you do of course, and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.